Between them, they have previously unveiled hundreds of plaques and statues, but none as special or as close to their own hearts as this one. The sunken garden at a Kensington Palace residence was one of Princess Diana's favourite places. And commemorating her here has been a long-standing ambition of Princes William and Harry. This was an intimate event with no formal speeches. In a joint statement later on social media, the brothers wrote, Today, on what would have been our mother's 60th birthday, we remember her love, strength and character, qualities that made her a force for good around the world, changing countless lives for the better. Ian Rank Broadley is the sculptor who brought the Prince's concept to reality. I think uppermost in my mind was in fact to actually do something for the princes. I mean, you know, for all that the princess was a very public figure and in many respects an icon, but she was somebody's mother. So that's, I paid the greatest heed to both princes and what they had to say. The statue is simple and figurative. The princess depicted with three children. Diana's hands rest on the shoulders of the two youngsters either side of her, as if to protect or reassure. The Diana statue is not actually visible from these public areas of Kensington Gardens. The sunken garden itself will only be open to paying visitors. The two princes said to be very keen to control access to the statue of their late mother, so it remains a reflective memorial rather than a maudlin shrine. Nearly a quarter of a century since her premature death in Paris, Diana remains an iconic figure around the world, and her death had a profound impact on the lives and personalities of her two sons. William is destined to be king, while Harry has renounced his royal titles and moved to California. The brothers are said to have barely spoken to each other in the past two years. Relations strained after Harry's wedding to his American wife Meghan, and soured even further after the couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey, accusing members of the royal family of racism and of ignoring their requests for support. But here, there was no visible sign of unease. But that doesn't necessarily mean Harry is going to return to the fold. Short term, there will be no reconciliation. I think we just have to face that uh, and realise that he is going off rather like the Duke of Windsor did uh, nearly 100 years ago um, uh, and will live in exile for a very long time, I think. But like many family disputes, a birthday often prompts a truce. And on the day that would have been Diana's 60th birthday, it certainly seemed that way for the princes. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Kensington Palace.